What is up, guys? Hold on one second. Got to blow off the dust on this microphone to bring you another race commentary. I am super excited to chat with you about the Oakland Grand Prix. This is a classic late season NorCal gem of a race. A tricky little course that was extra windy this year made for some exciting racing. I unfortunately was not in the best of fitness. I crashed my mountain bike in Tahoe. Uh, long story, a bee ended up stinging me in the nose and I dislocated my shoulder. So my race prep wasn't the greatest uh, for this day, but you know, one thing I tell a lot of people is that you very rarely are just like 100%, you know, ready to rip. And I hate to see people that are like, oh, I'll race next week, I promise, you know, then I'll be fit enough. And they keep putting it off, you know, sometimes you just got to bite the bullet and toe the line, even though you know you aren't in the best of fitness. And yeah, I'm going to talk to you about how I approach a race um, when I'm in that situation. And I happen to be alone in this race as well. So a rare race where I can talk to you about how I approach racing without teammates, without my Turin Elite teammates. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. I'm super excited. Thank you all for being here, subscribing, all that. And yeah, let's jump into this. So in July, I did Chicago Grit. And man, local races start so much slower than those big national level <laughs> criterions. It was kind of nice. So I think we're in like the second lap and we just cruise that first lap. Um, the main feature of the course is that kind of chicane, I guess. It's like a right hand sort of sharp turn that um, the field really whittles down into and if you're back in the pack you can slow down to like 10 miles an hour and you have to sprint out of it so the big thing that i was going to try to do was save energy by staying in like the top 10 so i can take choice lines and the easiest way of doing that is to to kind of try to get three rides off the front like what i'm following right here um, that was trevor from enjoy who's just sending it and Honestly, if you're alone, you really just have to pick a few guys that you know are the strong ones to mark and um, try to stick on them like glue. Um, I really felt like a breakaway was pretty likely um, with this field and Trevor is one of those strong guys and that guy up there sprinting is Miles, also one of the big hitters for Volley. There's actually a preem there that I uh, I decided to kind of go for and I thought I got it but uh, they gave it to Miles I guess he just pit me but um, yeah I took a nice little ripper of a line through the chicane and yeah I'm gonna push on the pedals a little bit I looked back and I saw that I kind of gapped off the field and when you're alone you can't really spend energy needlessly so I quickly sat up and kind of returned back into the field so this is basically exactly what I'm trying to avoid. I've filtered back um, during that last lap in the field. And yeah, you see, we just like totally balled up in that tight little corner. And yeah, here I am having to do a, a pretty sustained like four or five, 600, 700 watts. And yeah, that, um, you know, especially with my lack of fitness in this late season race and with my injury, you know, this is it's gonna it, it's gonna affect me later in the race. So I'm gonna try to get back to the front. I feel like there's gotta be a, like a meme of cycling YouTubers saying, oh, just get to the front. But uh, yeah, that it, it is pretty important as cliche as it is, but the way you move up and the way you do it is gonna make a huge difference, um, especially when you're lacking um, a little bit of punch. So the big thing that I was trying to do, um, because this was a very windy day, I know the, the camera obviously isn't gonna pick that up, but um, sometimes going up the hill there on the back straight, you would just get stopped by the wind. So uh, take a look at those blue arrows. You know, I'm gonna try to be on the left of the field as much as I can. You know, sometimes it just closes off. Um, like here I'm having to yeah, kind of steer to the right because it's it's slowing down on the left but 
I'm trying to stay sheltered from the wind as much as I can and just pick up spots while being sheltered. Um, you know, like in the big races, I think people are more, um, you know, kind of keen to this and they'll, they'll kind of clog that up. But at these smaller races, you can definitely take advantage of that. If you, if you just know how to read the wind and know how to position yourself, you can save a lot of energy. So here's an example where the left is just totally open and I'm just going to try to sneak through here. They do have the cones where the officials are and there is a little bit of a curve that comes out up there. But Roman and Blake, they uh, they send it. I'm, I'm here for it. Um, and yeah, they just moved up a bunch of spots. So moves like that are, are going to help you out for sure. All right. So here we are about 17K to go. So... Uh, yeah, we're definitely past halfway and a break hasn't gone. It's been fairly aggressive like I expected. Um, I did a pretty good job marking moves. I'm definitely starting to feel it. And I think Joseph from Away Message is up there just ripping it. And yeah, you can see in the rear cam, it's super strung out. I think uh, everyone is kind of on the ragged edge. and. I'm really worried because I look up there and Mike's has uh, Sean Bennett, uh, former uh, Giro d'Italia World Tour writer, uh, pretty insane that we, we get to race with him. Um, so he's up there and uh, Blake um, is also up there from Red Peloton, he's super strong. And that Altavelo guy just flicked me and this is like exactly what I don't want to be doing as an individual writer. But I'm just super worried about this move. Um, I'm, I'm having to do this pretty big pull uh, to try to get back up to this group um, because that gap opened up pretty quick. I took a nice little line through there and closed a lot of it. But yeah, this is uh, this is bad. You can see my heart rate is, is climbing up there. Um, and yeah, this is kind of red alert for me. So we pulled the group back and bam right you know like uh, only a few hundred meters later the counter goes with trevor and i saw miles on his wheel and my heart rate is still pretty up there you know 180 is is pretty high for me um, especially this late in the season and they instantly get a gap and yeah that was the move of the day it, i i think it just goes to show you know when you're alone and you don't have backup the margin for error is just so much smaller. You know, like I had to take that pull because I wasn't directly on the wheels of the, the strong guys. They were, you know, getting a draft the entire time um, when I was out in the wind. And yeah, my heart rate climbed up because of that. And then they were able to attack and get away and bam. Uh, yeah, you can see them riding off into the, the distance. It's a, a group of four. Um, Luckily, I do have um, some strong guys still in the field, but Mike's, uh, this is like their, their MO. Like they had uh, Sean Bennett up there. So they're gonna do a really good job clogging it up. Um, Joseph from Away Message was riding like a tank um, and trying to pull it back. You know, I took some pulls, but yeah, that's just uh, it, how it goes. You know, that's why teammates are, are such a big deal in, uh, in racing, you know, you can only, follow so many moves before you 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 start to feel it um so yeah that i unfortunately missed the the winning break but um let's check out how the the race finishes all right let's just jump ahead to the last lap not a lot happened we were just trying to pull and it wasn't super functional we we got within like 15 20 seconds but then they they pulled it out again like there there there's some super strong guys up there so yeah bell lap um let's check this out i don't even remember how this really <laughs> played out um, I'm in pretty good position here, you know, probably like 10th wheel, um, get an okay run at the left, right, uh, chicane, you know, not the best, but not the worst. Um, I know that I probably on paper, if I'm like fit, it am one of the best sprinters that's in this group. I mean, Joseph, that the big guy in black, he's super strong, can kind of do it all. Uh, Maddie from Volley, also a really good sprinter. Um, but yeah, this is where it kind of just starts fracturing and I get pushed out into the wind here and I am not really in a draft yet. And, uh, and I'm getting pelted by a super strong wind. And 
I think that was just kind of my sprint. Um, so yeah, that uh, not the best finish for me. I know we're racing for like fifth here anyways because that break is up the road. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna go backwards in the sprint. But yeah, I'm still proud that I, I came out here. You know, I didn't have, uh, you know, I took like a week and a half off the bike because I, uh, yeah, uh, definitely thoroughly messed up my shoulder. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, yeah, I'm getting back on the horse to make these videos. Um, keep an eye out for more, you know, like, comment, subscribe, do all the good stuff. I'll post the, the Strava ride if you're interested in my power and everything. But yeah, thank you guys so much and I'll, I'll see you in the next one.